Everyone, we also got to think about stocks rallying off cooler than expected economic data this week. We do. And it's telling one prominent Wall Street strategist that the market may be pricing in a soft landing. Yahoo Finance's Josh Schaefer, he's been thinking about this a lot and joins us now with the details. Brad, I've been thinking about it all day, all morning. I was actually thinking about it all yesterday, too, because wow. yesterday I, was, I attended virtually Goldman Sachs's media outlook or their outlook for 2024. And one thing that really caught my eye listening to him was sort of him highlighting, uh, David Costin, the head strategist there, highlighting the market action that we saw this week and essentially saying, well, this affirms what our economists have been talking about for months now, which is we're not going to go into recession. Mm. When you take a look at the market action this week, which you guys have been talking a lot about this hour, we saw the Russell 2000 skyrocket, right? One of the best days it's had in a year. We saw bond, year, bond yields fall, stocks overall rally, basically saying, okay, we're pricing in that soft landing. Now, sort of the second part of this story that I'm looking at as well as, of course, what if we're pricing in too much of a soft landing? And we've sort of been here before, and that was kind of an interesting twist to this story too when I think about what happens from here. When you talk to economists, remember back in February, markets had started pricing in maybe a soft landing, and then you had that January jobs report, 550,000 jobs added, stock market goes down, and then the whole narrative shifts again, right? So that was something that economists have pointed out to me sort of counter to that. What yeah. do you think about it? And Josh, you've been parsing through these notes. We certainly have gotten a lot of 2024 look-aheads this week in terms of what some of the other larger banks are expecting here going forward. How do you see Goldman's outlook, the fact that they see a very low risk of recession, stacking up to some of the other bigger players out there? Because there is a bit of a divide. There is a bit of a divide because Goldman sees the economic outlook being good, but they don't see that much of an upside in the S&P 500 when you really think about the call here. The call is 4,700. That's about 5%. It's less than 5% now. It's 5% when they wrote the note, but we've had this rally. And so their call is basically, we think the good news is priced into the market. And we're at a point where earnings are pretty much at a fair value. And we think things are going to be basically steady until the second half of the year. And that's the difference between Goldman's call and, say, a Morgan Stanley call, is Goldman thinks that those rate cuts come at the end of the year because they don't see the economy going into recession. They see the economy doing well. And so they don't think the market really moves because the market wants certainty and the market's not going to move until we know what the Fed does. They don't think the market moves until the end of the year, which I don't think is necessarily consensus or the same thing we're hearing from all of these folks. It all comes down to those rate cuts, really.